All right. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going to be kind of showing you guys my work workflow through DaVinci Resolve. So I've been using, I've been using DaVinci Resolve for about, I'll say the top of the year, but I had DaVinci Resolve for over a year and a half because I, when I bought my Black Magic, it came with the actual DaVinci Re Resolve card. One second. All you got to do, plug this inside of your stuff and it's going to download the like the actual software and then you got to use some keyword to put it in but today guys i'm going to kind of show you guys since i've been using davinci resolve what i've learned and from switching from premiere pro to davinci resolve what are some things that i've learned what are some things that i've liked and what would i go back to premiere pro or am i sticking to the davinci resolve who knows i use both software so i use majority of my soft i, I, I use this for my vlog and music video starting to do my music video but if a client want a bunch of effects stuff like that then i will use i will use after effects premiere pro because i know how to use the like the effects like i know how to use after effects but i haven't really fully functioned the effects in fusion yet but i know how to do certain things just don't know how to do everything but instead of me sitting here ramble guys let's get into the video so first thing first when you guys open up davinci resolve what I usually do, you know, you're gonna make the let's let's just say it's gonna be real, real, real one, right? You, no matter of fact, YouTube video one. Uh. So once you create it, this is gonna open up the pool. So right here, you got the media pool. You got the cut page, you got the edit page, fusion page is what I was talking about with the After Effects stuff. You got the color page. Everything is literally built in here. So you don't have to like go to a different program. Then you got the Fairlight, this is for the audio, and then your delivery tab. So how I usually put in my audio, I go to the effects tab. This is where I usually start. I start from widen this a little bit. If you guys have a folder, you guys open up your folder. Sorry guys. So open up your folder. Um, I'm gonna use. So I did. I shot a music video with Rude Boy a couple days ago. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna drag this media in. and see right here. It asks you whenever you drop anything into into DaVinci Resolve, it's gonna ask you change project frame rate. So let's say say you say yes, right? You go down here to the to the the icon button right here, guys. And you press this and you see how it's right here it says timeline frame rate is at um 90 60 frames per second you want to change that to 23 frames per second this is automatically going to change and then we are using 1920 by 1080 that's the youtube st um, standard form then you press save there's more stuff that you can do but i don't want to get into that right now so you press save right and then what we're going to do i'm going to bring in a next clip yeah, I'm gonna bring in the next clip. So bad. So look. All right, drag this right here. Go to the other one. And then drag this right here. So we're gonna be using two clips, DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanna add an adjustment layer, you drag this clip right here, you know, over here, bam. And let me let me bring this down a little bit so I can have a little bit more room so you guys can actually see what's going on. Okay, so first thing first, what you do, what I usually do, um, say for an example, I wanna add slow motion to the clip, right? So this right here, I widen this. If you guys are on Mac, you guys press, you guys are on PC, you guys press the Alt and drag it this way. But first thing first, you wanna right click. If you wanna slow the clip down, you go to Retime Curve, right? And then you might play it. And then the point where you want it to slow down at, which is right here where he put his hands up, you press Add add Speed Point. Go to the Speed Point and, and change this to 50%. You see how this got longer. What you wanna do, you wanna drag this out too. So if you play it back, slower and then you can also you can also add a next keyframe so bam where he put his hands down add a next keyframe and then bring it back 
bring it to bring it back to the regular speed so so if you bring it back it go from slow to fast all right cool guys also if you guys have a piece if you guys have a computer that's kind of giving you a problem if you guys are shooting with 4k footage what you want to go you want to go up to the playback you want to go to you want to go to full half or quarter so i'm on full right now because my computer can could take the you know the work that i'm giving it but if you guys want to bring it down you guys bring it down to quarter and you guys go back into here go to render cache and go to smart so when you go to smart you see how right here is red when you guys it's going to load and it's kind of rendering out the clip while it's in the timeline so you don't you don't actually have to go to in and out and then press render out and you know in premiere pro that you usually do and here it actually renders out for you by itself so that's that's a plus and cool and now if you guys want to get a little bit more into the curve like making sure the curve make like slow it down a little bit so you guys want to right click on it go to time remat curve and then it's going to show up these keyframe down here right you're going to click on this keyframe and then you're going to press this correct It, it should give you a, a better a better flowing if it make like it should smooth it instead of going in too fast so that's one thing right something that i didn't really know that i can do also a next thing now say for an example i want to add let's let's get this off go to this remat time go to this take this off right i want to add a next adjustment layer you add a next adjustment layer on top press b for the cut tool if you got a pc let me bring down my playback a little bit more because it seems like my computer try to act a little bit slow. So say for example, you guys want to add like a zoom in slow trans trans transaction. There's two ways you can do it, but I'm just going to do the, the simple and easy way. You want to go up to here, you press the right click on this frame, go to here, zoom the clip in about just a little bit where it's notice, noticeable. And then you see it's kind of a zoom in or we can kind of do it abrupt where you go right here and you can also bring this bring the king frame over and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna zoom it up just a little bit more so you guys can actually see how it actually work BAM zoom up and then for right here we're gonna add a next keyframe and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna go right here computers acting slow press so I need to see you right here, bam. So we're gonna add a keyframe. So what we're gonna do with you guys gonna have adjustment layer, we're gonna add a keyframe. We're gonna drag it to this marker right here. Add a next keyframe, go to where the slow motion. And we're just gonna zoom it in, just a tab. We're gonna make it abrupt. That's the next keyframe. Go a couple step, add a next one. And then when you go to the end of the clip, Cool. So something else that I, that I literally just learned. Um, say for example, I can't move this clip. If you guys see, the clip can't move. What you want to do? You want to go up to here, and it's gonna say position lock. So now I can move the clip to different different stuff. So that's a very easy way. Premiere Pro do not have this. That's the first thing first. So I know that you guys are probably waiting on the coloring and some fusion stuff, right? So this is this is the this is what I've learned inside of Fusion right this is going to be for the this is going to be for something so give me a second we're going to go up to here i want to make sure you guys see what's going on let me bring up my things to full so you guys can see what's going on so we're going to click on this clip go into fusion and say for an example we want to add a blur right so what i what i usually see people do is you go over here is that you can go right here where it said blur add a blur and then this is the fun part so what you want to do you want to break these join this clip the yellow to that and then join this to right here this is going to pop up you want to go this is the end number one is bad and this is going to be two so so this is one and this is two 
Okay, so now that the blur is on, you want to go up to the blur radius, and you see, if I if I if I apply this, it'll blur the clip and its nodes. And if you go back to the editing page, if I go back to Fusion, go to Blur, go back to the editing page, the clip is blur. So that's something that you guys can also do in um, Fusion. But let's just get rid of this clip real quick, and then these join back automatically. Now you guys probably went on the color, so let's go to the color tab, and I'll show you guys some basic stuff that I usually do on my color. Um, don't let me start hiding you now. What you want to do? You want to drag this right here, the lip, drag it down, and you see how when you drag it down, it give more detail into the shadow. So I usually go to negative five. You go, you gotta test it. You know, play play around with it. Make sure, you know, you like it bring that up a little bit bring that down just a tab All right and then the temperature what I usually do I usually go for the white to kind of match the temperature that's good everything is good so meaning everything before was great All right that's for this clip I literally add a little bit of shadow into it who's the color just a tab just a tab what you want to do, you want to create a next, a next, add a next serial node, and this serial node is going to be for your, let's say, let's just say it's going to be for your color grade, right? So this is a LUT that I usually use. Let's use this LUT today. Yeah, I usually use this LUT. So what you want to do, you want to double click. It goes on here. If you guys are in here, you want, you guys want to go to this tab right here. Go to this tab and bring the gain down just a little bit. Bring the gain. So this is 30, 40%. Bring the gain. I usually bring my gain down to about 40, 30%. You know, don't like it to be that abrupt. So so that's with it off. That's with it on. So I know you guys can tell the difference on and off. What you want to do, you want to go back to the, the actual tab, go right here. This is where you're going to see the before and after. So big before and after. Now let's let's get down to exporting this clip now. So you want to go to you want to go to the, the, the deliver tab. You go to the deliver tab, and the, the cool thing about this right here, you can just pick any one of these presets. Literally, that's all you have to do. Pick any one of these presets. So usually I usually use the the 20 wait. I usually use the H H.265. Right? Um you want to make sure you you want to make sure you save where you want the file to go. We're just gonna save it right here. Let's just call it one. Right. Second, make sure it's render. I usually use quick quick time. Kodak need to be um, H225. Um, I got this on, this is supposed to be an AMD, right? 1920 by 10, 23 frames per second. Bam, you want to do restrict. I usually bring mine up to the, I wrote a thumb that something that I've learned that I've seen on the internet. They said if you're in 23 frames per second, you want to double it. I don't know the number, but I usually max my stuff out at like, you know, seven. Seven, seven, seven. So one. So you want to have four, four zeros, right? Make sure it's on main. Bam. You go down to the advanced tab, right? Everything should be like everything should be look like how mine look. Leave it as a fall. Add to render queue, and what you want to do? Just render it, and it's finished. Now, how you're gonna see what you got? You want to go to the PC. Sorry guys, computer's acting a little slow. So what you want to do when you want to see the video, you go over here, you put number one.
Okay. Wow, boys and girls. Project file is gonna be right here when you export it. I kinda don't know what's going on, on my computer, but this shouldn't be happening. But the easiest way to make it play that I can know how to make it play is open back up different to resolve. It's gonna load, give it a second for it to load up. Once it's loaded up, go back, I'll go to the real, create a different one. I'll put this one as one. Press create. Um, okay. Okay, let's create it. Let's do two. Let's do two. It's gonna open up, go to bam. You go here, drag this into here. Um, let's just change. Told you guys gonna ask the same thing. Drop this on here. See? is actually color graded it looks how you want it to look everything is perfect and you just want to just drop it out to the world so that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much my workflow since i've switched to davinci resolve and i love it it's been a very 